Shasta Valley RCD, and I have about six slides to share with you. Um, because we work um, closely with the extension on developing our ranch planning template, I wanted David to come up and talk with you about it. Um, this isn't something that Shasta Valley invented. We just kind of tweaked it a little bit to go <coughs> along with our TMDL. And so um, the things he mentioned that are kind of unique to our plan are the tailwater neighborhoods um, emphasis and the, the water quality stuff that we have to do for um, dissolved oxygen and temperature. So th that's something that they don't have to worry about in Marin. But the sediment is something that we are always concerned about and uh, some of the other parameters are the same for any good ranch plan. Okay, so ranch uh, planning up here is something that you guys probably all know about. It's not new. Most people have a ranch plan. Many people have several ranch plans. If you've ever worked with another agency on a project or anything um, involving cost sharing with NRCS or old SCS, there was range map. There's been lots of different efforts involved ranch planning. This particular effort now is just sort of a new generation basically just looking at a specific thing, which is the, it's the water quality. And so it's a little different, but it's not really, because we've always looked at irrigation management, we've always looked at grazing, and those things are very instrumental to putting together a water quality ranch plan. The Shasta Valley RCD works on ranch planning with interested landowners, and that's why I'm here today. And there's a sign-up sheet in the back if anybody's interested. Steve is supposed to tell a joke here, but he says he doesn't have any jokes. It's a little late in the day. Does anybody else have a joke they'd like to tell? <coughs> no? Because okay. I don't know any. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> this is the document that we use for a lot of our tailwater projects and our management decisions that the Shasta Valley RCD is engaged in. And this document is available on our website. It's big big report paid for by some agencies and very, very useful. Um, it directs a lot of our activities because it focuses on tailwater, which has been identified as one of the main sources of the in, enhanced temperatures or um, hot water, whatever you want to call it in the summertime, that we sometimes experience in the Shasta River. Obviously, air temperature and other things also impact the temperature of the, of the water in the river. But tailwater is one of the things that um, humans have possibly contributed to and possibly we can help fix. So I recommend taking a look at this document on our website if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about tailwater and the study that was done to develop this plan. So if you're interested in a, in a plan, all you got to do is talk to me. You can contact us through the office or through the website. Um, the two lists kind of show what I do and what you do, so it's kind of a back and forth, it's kind of a group effort. Hopefully involves your family, hopefully involves your kids, your mom and dad, other people, your leasee, other people that use your property. Uh, in order for it to be useful, it has to actually be realistic. It can't be going to grow avocados or whatever. It has to actually have some basis in fact. So um, the part I do is basically the scribe which would be I would write down what you guys decide you want to do. I would take some pictures, help you do some monitoring, make you some maps. And the decisions are all what you guys decide. I don't have really an agenda about the ranch plan. It's just kind of paperwork. And most ranchers have way too much paperwork to deal with. So that's the only really thing I can offer you is I'll do some paperwork for you if, if you want a ranch plan. Um, when we get all done, we go over it together, and then you, you take it home, and I delete it. If you want a copy electronically, you can have that too, so that you can keep it up to date yourself. But we don't keep a copy in the office. The only thing we do is keep your name on the list. This guy has a ranch plan. So, um, some of this we've already covered, and David covered it quite well too. Um, one of the main reasons for you guys to want to do this would be to kind of get your wish list on paper. I, every rancher I've ever talked to has a wish list. And this is just a great opportunity for you to put it down. It's funny when you tell your wife 
what's on your wish list because she might not know. You know, she might not agree with that. She might have some things to put on the wish list. So actually, family business should have these kind of discussions from time to time. Um, we talk a lot about tailwater. When I come out there, we'll walk around and maybe GPS some places if you have some tailwater areas that you're concerned about. And then we'll do some photo <coughs> monitoring. That's something else I can help with is taking some pictures or discussing tailwater monitoring and how to take pictures of a before and after of a project. This is exactly what David showed you, the before and after for a project. And also, maybe there's a place on your property that you are really proud of, something you did in the past, you'd like to take some pictures of it. It's great to have somewhere to put those pictures so they don't get lost in the pickup. And then one of the other main things we talk about uh, in the planning process is your management because my experience around here, the most limiting resource is labor. <coughs> That's your management. So it's super great to talk about split fertilizer applications or extra tillage operations or whatever it is, but you have to have the labor to do it or it's just high in the sky. So it's also true that often it's fun to try and do something new, but then stick with it is another whole level of commitment. So management that you can live with is really important. When it comes to tailwater management, it's pretty much all management. You know, it, it's X temperature water. What are you going to do with it? You have to do something different. If there's not an iceberg, you know, you can't magically make it cold. So it has to be something that you can incorporate into your management scheme makes sense for your operation, otherwise it isn't going to become part of your operation. So it's your plan, it's voluntary, some of this stuff is just the obvious. It's only necessary if you want, if you want one. If you don't want one, you know, we're not pushing you to do something that doesn't make sense for your operation. If you already have a ranch plan from some previous effort and you'd like to update it, that's absolutely fine too. Uh, it is true that ranch planning is something that the RCD is promoting to help with the TMDL, but it's completely voluntary. So our role is kind of intermediary, we kind of translate back and forth between farmer speak and uh, regulator speak. And if that sounds like something that you'd like to get involved with, give us a call. If you don't live in Shasta Valley, it's still a great idea. Uh, there are other groups and agencies that are doing ranch planning in Siskiyou County, and you can always start by talking with us, the Shasta Valley RCD, or any of the other RCDs in Siskiyou County. Uh, ranch planning is a great universal <coughs> tool for anybody. And I have talked to a few people who still have their range back plans from the 1990s, and that's a great source uh, of information. It's, they still have a website. Extension did a lot of work to get ready for that range mag program it was really awesome. So those those handouts I use in my ranch planning and they're very, very, still very um, up to date. That's it. Anybody got any questions? Okay, thanks. Heather is gonna come up and talk to you about soil survey. Web soil survey.